Hello again, welcome to this online tutorial on hypertension brought to you by Nutrition and Medicine. Today we'll review how patients can lower their blood pressure with simple lifestyle changes. Please take a moment when you're done and leave a comment and tell us what you learned. So let's get started. Lifestyle modifications are the cornerstone for prevention and treatment of hypertension. You can see in the graph on the right that changes to both diet and physical activity lower blood pressure. In fact, they can be even more effective than common diuretics. According to the most recent recommendations, prehypertensive patients should be prescribed lifestyle modifications as their primary treatment option. It should also be the initial treatment for several months for persons with uncomplicated stage 1 hypertension. These changes will enhance the effects of drug therapy if it becomes necessary. There are five lifestyle modification interventions that have been proven effective to reduce blood pressure. These are losing weight, obtaining physical activity on a regular basis, following the DASH diet, restricting sodium, and limiting alcohol consumption. Patients should strive for a BMI under 25, should be active aerobically for 30 minutes a day on most days of the week, and their diet should consist mainly of fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy. It's also important to emphasize that sodium should be no more than 2,300 milligrams per day, and alcohol consumption should be minimal, if any. We'll cover the DASH diet in detail in this tutorial, but for more tips on counseling in the other four areas, View the whole 10-15 to 15 minute program on our website. Most Americans will develop hypertension at some point in their lives. An effective dietary focus for hypertensive patients is the DASH diet, which consists primarily of fruit, lots of vegetables, low-fat dairy, and whole grains. Make sure to assume that your patients are sensitive to the effects of dietary sodium when you're making nutritional recommendations. Because almost 90% of persons over the age of 55 in the United States will eventually develop hypertension. So let's take a look at the DASH diet. Remember that we're also emphasizing physical activity and weight loss. So these should be incorporated as well into your interventions. But here you'll see the number of servings for each food group for a 2,000 calorie meal plan for a patient following the DASH diet. It may be helpful to memorize the number of servings for each food group, noting the especially high number of fruits and vegetables. Here are a few tips for helping patients switch to the DASH diet. Make sure to emphasize gradual changes because they can't do it all at once. They should start by adding one vegetable to each meal and cutting the meat portions in half. Have them eat fruit and low-fat dairy as dessert or snacks, and perhaps use more brown rice whole wheat pasta, and dried beans with the vegetable medleys. For tips on weight loss, physical activity, and some practice cases, visit our website for more details. This concludes our tutorial on management of hypertension. To view the full hypertension module, including all patient tips and other educational materials on sodium and alcohol reduction, go to our website at www.nutritionandmedicine.org. Thanks for listening and check back for more tutorials in the near future.